Now, because of this pandemic, ain't no need lying to yourself. We frustrated. We agitated. Hello. Some are depressed. Some walking around in fear. Amen. 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 Now, now, sure we got faith in God, but none of you know how you will act in a new place. Amen. Amen. So, so let's be realistic now. And, and fear ain't so bad if you learn to fear God. Amen. Amen. Not man, not disease, not sickness. Learn how to fear God. And that fear is not being afraid of God. But that fear is that you don't want to anger God Amen. or be disobedient to God. Amen? Amen. And I, I like for us to, to concentrate on this coming in on broken pieces. Because we're broken right now. Amen? Amen? But it ain't broke till God says it's broke. And we're going to prove that in the Word this morning. Amen? Amen? And, and don't kid yourself, you're dealing with other issues that ain't got nothing to do with corona. That's right. We put that to the forefront, but we got other issues right. we're dealing with. Amen. Amen. Every sickness right now ain't corona. That's right. You got what I'm saying? We still got marital problems. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. We still got children problems. Mm -hmm. You name it. It's still going on. Ain't nothing changed. Right. Am I right? Mm -hmm. But God never changed. Mm -hmm. So we want to start with verse uh, 21. Acts chapter 27, verse 21, come, coming in on broken pieces. And then, and then the, the second question that I want to ask this morning, had anybody heard from God? Amen. Had anybody heard from God? Y'all look up at me for a minute. Because see, when we're going through, we have the tendency to look everywhere else for help. Mm -hmm. But God himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got something going on, you will ask people to pray for you. Mm -hmm. But had you prayed mm -hmm. for yourself. to God? Mm -hmm. and, then, and then when you pray, are you willing to to tarry long enough to listen, to hear back from. I'm in the wrong house this morning. Listen to me. Your prayers may reach heaven, but what you pray for may not be God's will. And do, and do you know that any of us could be stricken by the coronavirus right now? That ain't the big deal. <laughs> the big deal is, are you prepared to die? Amen. Amen. We've been coming to church all our lives, and, and that's what we're doing here this morning. Hopefully, to go to heaven. Well, you can't get to heaven. I'm in the wrong house this morning. That's the only way you're going to get to heaven. And eventually, all of us are going to die from one thing or another. Am I right? But are we prepared? Are we holding fast with God? Can we go to this now? Yeah. Beginning at verse 21. But as the long abstinence called so forth in the midst of them and said, Sirs, you should have hearkened unto me and not have loosed from Crete and to have gained this harm and loss. And now I, Come on. Now I exhort you, be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the ship. Watch this now. You're on a ship. They're in trouble. Paul heard from God and tried to tell them it wasn't wise to leave excuse me, from where they were at excuse me, and get on the ocean. Is this a storm right now? Yeah. Yeah. But since Paul heard from God, he said, be encouraged. Mm -hmm. ain't, 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 ain't no soul going to be lost if you just follow God's instruction. That's another thing right there. Are you following God's instruction? 
Uh, listen to me. Are you following God's instruction or the governor? Are you following God's instruction or the president? Are you following God's instruction or your crazy cousin? Y'all all right? Yeah. And you know, you, you know, we, we talk about this coronavirus. You know what? It ain't making much sense to you until it hits your house. And if, if any among you out here right now this morning said, well, it, it ain't that bad, go sit with Mother Fishman just a little while. Amen. And you'll see how serious it is. Yeah. We have the tendency to lose care for one another until they come to your house. If you don't believe this thing is serious, go sit at her feet. Can I tell you, because since she is the mother, you sit at her feet. Amen. And she could enlighten you. Amen. Y'all you. all right? Amen. Can I go a little farther? Mm -hmm. Read. For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am and whom I serve, saying, Fear not, Paul, thou must be brought before Caesar, and lo, God hath given thee all them that fail with thee. Well, watch this, watch this. I'm going to ask the question again. Had you heard from God? And I'm going to tell you what. Fox News is going to run y'all crazy. Instead of watching the television, get your Bible and rest in your word. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Get, come on now. Look at me for a minute. Get your Bible and rest in the word. And in life, sometimes you're going to have to encourage your own self. There ain't nobody that's going to be around you to encourage you. If, you. if you're talking to somebody, they're talking foolishness. Am I making sense? I would rather talk to a wise man five minutes than to talk to a fool 24-7. Did you catch it? That's not just abroad. Sometimes you got to start in your own house. Look at how much foolishness going on around you all the time. And if there ain't somebody faithful in the house, the house going to be lost. Can we go a little further? Paul said, be a good chair. He heard from the Lord. And quite frankly, I get nervous when I don't hear from God. Now, you say, Rev, you don't, everybody don't hear from God just like he's talking to you all the time. We just don't have a listening ear. Sometimes he'll speak to you through the baby. Uh -huh. But we don't have a listening ear. Can we go a little further? Coming in on broken pieces. Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer, for I believe God, that it shall be even as it was told me. Howbeit, we must be cast upon a certain island. But when the 14th night was come, as we were driven up and down to Aunt Adria, about midnight, the shipmen deemed that they drew near to some country. Watch this. Hello? 14 days. The Bible says night, but they saw no sun for 14 days. Sometime when trouble hit your house, seem like it ain't going to pass. All I can tell you is we want the deliverance, but we don't want to go through the trial. You understand what I'm saying? You can't tell me God being good if you ain't never been in a mess. Amen. You can't tell me he's a healer if you ain't never been sick. Amen. You can't tell me he's a deliverer unless you've been in trouble. Y'all got what I'm saying? 14 days, no sunshine. Can you imagine? Listen to me. And when trouble hits your house, when you go in that closet, ring in your hand. Stop ringing your hand. And start trusting God. Amen. However he work it out, it's going to be all right. Did you catch it? Can we go a little further? Read. And sounded and found it 20 fathoms. And when they had gone a little further, they sounded again and found it 15 fathoms. Then fearing lest we should have fallen upon rocks, we cast four anchors out of the stern and wished for the day. Oh God, have mercy. So we need to anchor because we don't want to run into the rocks. You got what I'm saying? The rock might be the very place you need to go. And I'm talking about the rock Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and, and, you know, not, 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 not. And can I run you over just for a minute? The Bible says, uh, Peter said to Jesus, if that be you on the water, bid me to come. Right? Mm -hmm. Jesus said, come. Oh. Watch this. And all our lives, people talk about he took his eyes off Christ. No, 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 can I, can I help you right there? The same storm was going on when he stepped in the water. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Between stepping out the boat in the water, Satan showed him an illusion. Satan said and shut up his spiritual eyes and let his natural eye behold the stone. You understand what I'm saying? And so you too sometimes got to, got to understand that Satan will beat you down thinking that there's no hope for your situation. But if God be God, it ain't over till God says it's over. Can we go? And as the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship, when they had let down the boat into the sea, on the color as though they would have cast anchors out of the foreship, Paul said to the centurion and to the soldiers, except these abide in the ship, ye cannot be saved. God, let me help you out here. You don't, you can't run out of trouble. Did you catch it? Have I ever told you you can stop trouble before it comes? But once it shows up, you got to deal with it. See, if they never left port, they wouldn't be in the storm. But they left. Did, did you catch it? Now, 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 I, I want you to understand now that Paul is a prisoner. Do a double take on that verse right there for me, please, man. And as the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship, when they had let down the boat into the sea, on the color as though they would have cast anchors and out of the foreship, Paul said to, to the centurion and to the soldiers, except these abide in the ship, ye cannot be saved. Don't jump ship looking for answers in all the wrong places. Did, 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 didn't, it, didn't Paul tell them, I heard from God, mm -hmm. stay on the ship. I heard from God, stay on the ship. Can, can I just share something with you? Amen? And it might help you. My daughter called me on Friday evening and she said, well, you know, they'd have been to the hospital and, and, they, and they tell me my blood all whacked up and my heart beat out of rhythm and I need a transfusion. Can I be real? I said, well, what the hell are you doing home? Ain't no help at your house. Amen. Am I trying to help somebody? Amen. Ain't no help at your house. You so full of fear. The doctor done told you what you need. And you going home? You better get on your knees and ask God to cast off for you that spirit of fear and go handle your business. Amen. Daddy can't fix that. Am I trying to help somebody? Amen. See, I, I don't mind using my house to teach you. Because, see, all of us going to run through Amen. stuff. Amen. And you, it, it, all of us got family members right now need to go see the doctor, but they're full of fear. Amen. That corona down there. Corona everywhere. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And have I ever told you the doctor will tell you what to take to God? If you don't take it to God, you're in trouble. He cannot heal you. But God can. Yes, Y'all all right? Yes, Paul said, listen. In the centurion, now listen, Paul is a prisoner. Ain't that something? The very one you think you got authority over, got more power. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Once again, I'm going to ask you, you, have you heard from God lately? You, have you heard from God lately? Stop being in fear and, and, and thinking what man can do to you. Know what God can do. He'll open doors for you before you get there. Mm -hmm. Reverend Oliver, he, he probably would even remember. He did a message one time on 
the angels bringing Peter out of jail. And he said that's the first time he ever seen remote control <laughs> in the Bible. <laughs> Wherever you locked in right now, be it jail or whatever, God got remote control. Yes, he when he sends the angels to deliver you, it's like remote control. Because man will never see what God is doing. But God is working behind the scenes. Amen. And he's going to bring it yes, to the forefront. Yes, Coming in on broken pieces. Listen to these instructions. Then the soldiers cut off the ropes of the boat and let her fall off. And while the day was coming on, Paul besought them all to take need, saying, This day is the fourteenth day that ye have tarried and continued fasting, having taken nothing. Now watch this. Now. Don't you ever fast to the point where it endangers your health. People always boast about how long I'll fast. What good is it if it's destroying something else? They ain't in 14 days. They fasting. They need, they, need, they need some help here. Did you catch that word fasting? Yes. When last have you fasted? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You understand what I'm saying? You, they were fast. Paul said, listen, now y'all going to need some strength. Come off your fast and take some meat. Go and get yourself something to eat. You, you follow what I'm saying? L li listen to me. David David prayed for his child. Uh, he fasted and he prayed for the child and the child died. He got right up and got something to eat. Yeah. That's right. It's time to move. Mm -hmm. Did you catch it? Mm -hmm. It's time to move. Come on. Read. Y'all going to see these broken pieces. Wherefore I pray you to take some meat. For this is for your health. For there shall not any and hair fall from the head of any of you. Mm-hmm. And when he had thus spoken, he took bread and gave thanks to God in presence of them all. And when he had broken it, he began to eat. Mm. Then were they all good, of good cheer, and they also took some meat. And as we were in all the, and as we were in all in the ship, two hundred three score and sixteen souls. Mm -hmm. And when they had eaten enough, they lightened the ship and cast out the wheat into the sea. Mm -hmm. And when it was day, they knew not the land, but they discovered a certain creek with a shore into, into the which they were minded, if it were possible, to thrust in the ship. Mm -hmm. And when they had taken up the anchors, they committed themselves unto the sea and loosed the rudder bands and hoisted up the mainsail to the wind and made toward shore. Ooh. And falling into a place where two seas met, they ran into they ran the ship aground, and the far pole struck fast and remained unmovable, but the hinder part was broken with the violence of the wave. Okay. Broken pieces. Mm -hmm. Broken pieces. Did I tell you he was a prisoner? And they were prisoner on the ship? You understand what I'm saying? I I, I want to show you something this morning. Sometime for you to be blessed, you got to bless your enemy in the process. Sometimes that same heifer you don't like, your deliverance is tied up in them. I'm in the wrong house here. Then God said, in order for me to forgive you, y'all acting slow on me. In order for me to forgive you, you got to forgive Now, Paul is a prisoner, but he's the only one getting instructions from God. And when God speaks, even the heathen will hearken unto his word. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Can we go a little further? Thank you, Lord. And the soldiers' counsel was to kill the prisoners lest any of them should swim out oh, God, and listen, escape. Listen, all of them facing death, but I'm going to kill them not even knowing whether I would live. So not to let the prisoner escape. Oh, I, I, I thank God he worked behind the scenes. Huh? And, and, and let me tell you something. Uh, sometimes we panic. We panic about the natural prison. God know everybody in prison. He know when to show mercy. He know who was accused unjustly. 
He knows who's guilty, and even if you're guilty, he still shows mercy. Yeah. Y'all all right? Y'all catching this? Yeah. You know, and, 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 and right now, we, we got hateful attitudes which cause us to be broken in this season. We let our love diminish, which is broken pieces in you. Just to say hello, we don't want to do it no more. You're broken. Coming in. Coming in. Read it. Taking counsel. Let, let's, let's kill these prisoners. Let's don't, let's, don't let them, let's don't let them get away. Amen? Can, can I show you a natural thing to teach you a spiritual thing? Those that are behind prison walls right now can't go nowhere. Coronavirus running rapid in the prison. But everybody ain't got corona. Can you see the hands of God? Huh? Once again, Lord, I'll say, don't be stupid. Read. But the centurion, willing to save Paul, kept them from their purpose and commanded that they which could swim should cast themselves first into the sea and get to land. Now watch this. The centurion that's got, that's got Paul in captivity hearkens to Paul's voice. Yes, thank you, Lord. And showed favor on his life because yes. he believed what Paul said came straight from God. Yes, thank you, Lord. Ain't that something? Thank you, Lord. Ain't that something? You know, sometimes people act like they got rule over you. They got authority, but they ain't got no power. Nebuchadnezzar saw some handwriting. He couldn't read it. He said, go get Daniel. That's right. I know that's a man of God. And Daniel read the handwriting on the wall. He's the king with authority, but had no power. Ain't God. that something? Read. Coming in on broken pieces. Mm -hmm. And trust me, we are broken right now. But had anybody Heard from God. Thank you, Lord. And the rest, some on boards and some on broken pieces of the ship. And so it came to pass that they escaped all safe to land. Oh, my God. The darkest hour? Yes, thank you, Lord. It's just before dawn. Thank you, Lord. And don't let the devil show you an illusion as long as there's a living God. You understand what I'm saying? That's his job to show you an illusion, but it's God's job to prove himself. Coming in on broken pieces. In the midst of things you wish to complain about, your faith in God and being willing to trust him shall take you through. Everybody wants deliverance, but no one wants the trial. Can you hear from God in a time like this coming in on broken pieces now one last thing I want to ask you do you know when you're broken do you know when you you don't even feel your prayers going through do you know when you're broken when you stop picking up your word do you know that you're broken when your love start diminishing and listen, can I, can I tell you this? When Satan tries everything he can to break you, oh, yes, Lord. Thank you Lord. and you stand strong long enough, Thank you, Lord. he coming in the bedroom. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Just thought I'd help you. Yes. If he can bring division, between husband and wife, which is the head of the house, yes. the family is at the mercy of Satan. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Somebody got to be strong. Yes. Coming in on broken pieces. Mm -hmm. I'd like to share this with you before I leave. There are so many things we can't do nothing about. But it don't mean that it don't rest on your heart. And I find it difficult not to pray 
for every situation. Come on. Come on. Let me help y'all this morning. Just because it ain't your child Amen. in trouble, Amen. pray anyhow. Because if you get living, Thank you, Lord. you got some children too. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? You, Just because it ain't your mother that's sick, Amen. pray anyhow. Because if your mama keep living, that's some sick days for her too. Amen. I want to encourage you this morning. You might be coming in on broken pieces. Don't jump off the ship. If the storm tear up the ship, grab a hold to the planks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you get so trouble in your spirit, if you don't know nothing else to say, just say the Lord is yeah. my shepherd. Come on now. And I shall not want. Uh -huh. Or when you get the plague in you too bad, you said to yourself, didn't the word tell me that no weapon? Form against me. Come on now. Shall prosper. Yeah. Huh? No weapon. And if you're still shaking, run over to Psalm 51 and say, Have mercy upon me. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, thank you, Lord. According to thy loving kindness and thy tender mercy. Have mercy upon me. You, you might be coming in on broken pieces. But it ain't over until God says it's over. God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. Father in heaven, for every one under the sound of my voice this morning, I pray that you would grant us restoration. Increase our faith. Help us to write your word on the tables of our fathers. Father, help us to exemplify you in our everyday walk of life. Father, teach us to leave when you say leave. And if we leave from where we are, where we going, you already did the work. Help us to trust your word. Touch every home that's represented here this morning. And Lord, we're not selfish in our prayers. Touch mankind everywhere. Every mother's daughter. Every father's son. Teach us, Master, how to humbly walk in your word, your will, your ways, and your statutes. And Lord, we be so grateful to give you honor, glory, and praise. In Jesus' name, let every heart say amen. amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day.